Hi, I'm Chi Yao, and today I will present our Works One, a software driven wide area network resource controller. Network operators today use MPLSTE to allocate wide area network resources among data centers, which can lead to two problems. The first problem is low utilization, because today's wide area network are over provisioned in order to ensure sufficient capacity for peak periods. We are able to improve utilization through traffic shaping by delaying elastic traffic that does not have a time deadline to meet. Second, it's hard to guarantee SLAs in today's MPLSTE, where each router independently uses a greedy path selection algorithm. As a result, we found many LSPs are suffering from inflated latency. We solved this by using a centralized TE to perform global route and rate control. Now I'll show you how SWAN looks like. Consider a wide area network that bridges four data centers. In our test bed, we have three servers in each data center, and those servers are connecting to WAN through a border router, which we use Cisco N3K or Juniper. Each data center also has a POP, which consists of two SDN-enabled switches for low balancing and fault tolerance. In our test bed, we use a mix of IBM Blade and Arista switches. We also have two transit POP for increased uh, capacity, and then we well connect POPs where each inter-POP link actually represents two parallel physical links. Now consider three services across all pairs of data centers. The top one has the highest priority, while the bottom one has the least priority. The question here is, how to dynamically allocate the path and bandwidth to ensure both high network utilization and high SLA satisfaction. To achieve this, we operate a global SWAN controller, which collects bandwidth demand from service hosts and collects topology and traffic information from the network. And then it performs global traffic engineering and push the result back to the both sides. Service hosts also perform rate limiting to, uh, for rate enforcement. In the right hand side, we show our network topology. Each node is a switch, and color represents utilization. Red means high utilization, and thus we show that we're able to achieve high utilization for most of the links, except for a few green links, which are intra DC links used only for redundancy. In the left hand side, we show the time series of three services running in our test bed. They are sending the O2O traffic pattern. Blue line represents service demand, and red line represents the allocated bandwidth. The highest priority service in the top is always getting all it needs, and the other service is dynamically modulated. In the SWAN controller console, we can show there's a three service running in the system. Each line here shows the bandwidth and the path allocation for inter-DC flow. Using global rate and route control, we see this high priority service always taking shortest path. While the low priority flows can use multiple and longer paths to achieve high utilization. Now we kill a link between two switches, CO1 and CH1, and see how SWAN controller will deal with a link value. After the link is down, in a SWAN controller, we see SWAN controller can quickly react and detect the link value, and it recomputes the path and bandwidth allocation only for the affected service. After the fast recovery, we can see some high priority flows now need to take a longer path while they are still have full bandwidth allocation. Thanks for watching the video. Please visit our website for more detailed information.